happy Friday. I am so happy that Russ doesn't have to be up at the ass crack of dawn. I'm still up at the ass crack of dawn because of the dog. Uh, but today I would normally have off, but we're still on, got mandated overtime at work. So I have to go in for work for five hours. It's just five hours. I'd rather get it done sooner rather than later. So, um, I'm going to eat me some cereal and, um, then I'm going to get ready for work. I am done with breakfast and now I am heading upstairs. It's about to get dark. We have no hall light because we don't, we didn't replace the light bulb. Oh, hold on a second there. I'm going upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. I went upstairs. Meow. And light. So, uh, well, you can't see it anyway. Over. Oh, there you go. See, right there. That's the light bulb. How do you? You have to get a ladder to get to it. Oh, what? Oh, you got no water. Okay. Let me get you some water there, J Kitty Kitty. Miss Kitty that I almost called JJ. Miss Purdy. Going downstairs. Turn the light on. In the bathroom. She gets bathroom sink water because I don't give my animals filtered water or bottled water or whatever because. That's crazy. I don't even drink bottled water. I mean, I do if I have a bottle of water. But it's not like I go out and buy whoops, bottles of water for whatever. Okay, now I'm going to step on my stupid thing. Okay, I'm coming, kitty. I'm coming, kitty. My gown, my nightgown. What? Meow. My nightgown. It's a house dress. Okay. You wanted to be in there. That's why you got splashed. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I almost dropped the rest. <sighs> okay, so. That's it. I'm gonna get dressed. All right, I'm outside and I'm on my way, getting in my car. I'm gonna go to work. I wonder if anybody's ever seen someone vlogging and they're just like, what is that person doing? You know, or that person's crazy. Maybe they're FaceTiming, you know. I think of alternatives, like, instead of saying, I'd never do that. I can't believe anybody is doing that. Well, you know, you realize, you're different people. So, I like to think of the, well, what if, um, okay, so this is what I would do. If I was the one... Seeing someone vlog, oops, seeing someone vlog, I would say, huh, you know, maybe they're talking to someone. Or, hold on a second. Okay, so maybe they're talking to someone on their phone. Or, um, they're recording something for some reason. I would never think something dumb, like... That's so stupid, because just because you think it's stupid, you know, it's just not for you. It's just not for you, that doesn't make it stupid, you know, if it's some, I mean, if you die from it, obviously, or you injure someone or something, that makes it stupid, but if, it, if you're not harming anyone, just do it, do what makes you happy, and vlogging, I have learned, vlog, while vlogging, uh, 
I'm usually very terrible at stories. Like, really terrible at telling stories. I have no detail in them. I'm just like, point A, point B, done. And then, and but while vlogging uh, makes, I feel it, you know, even though I stumble over my words an awful lot, I am more detail oriented when it comes to, oh, excuse me, to telling stories. So, um, vlogging has helped me be a better storyteller, I think. So uh, I like to vlog, plus I needed a hobby, and that's why um, I'm vlogging, because I have no nothing else to do in my life. And, you know, if I don't put it on camera, maybe something will happen. I have no idea. Well, this weekend, let's see, tomorrow, uh, I'm going to wake up early and go on a free Fright Fest at Six Flags with my niece, or my nephew, and my brother. And... We're gonna have a grand old time. It'll probably be a longer video, especially if my brother and my nephew are very, uh, well, my nephew for sure, he's gonna wanna record. But my brother, I don't know, he might get annoyed by it. Either way, I'm gonna record at least on the majority of rides. Some of them you have to hold on, but and some of them you can just, you can, you know, let your arms go or something. Anyways, um, that their tree has like a zillion birds and it's super loud. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Now I'm on my way to work and um, just for five hours I'm going to come home. Russ should have his new his new uh, home health um, drug meds and he won't have to do it till like once a day. Like I mentioned yesterday, he'll only have to do it once a day, which will be great. Once a day for 35 minutes, which is fantastic because we can get a decent hour of sleep and not have to worry about it. He likes, okay, yesterday, all right, let me tell you. I made spaghetti and meatballs yesterday. Um, and Russ, he ate like half of it, which is great and all. He's like back on his <clears throat> diet. <sighs> His diabetic meds and stuff and he's actually taking care of himself and he's not as hungry as he used to be like he would eat like a plate and a half like a big plate and a half of food and he ate like half a plate of food he, he tells me he goes dear yeah he calls me dear or hun or whatever uh your food your supper is really yummy but I can't eat all of this and he tries to hand me the plate while I'm eating, mind you. I'm still eating my food in my chair. And he goes, he's expecting me to put his food away. So I'm like, okay, go put it in the fridge. Wrap it up, go put it in the fridge. He's like, do we have like saran wrap? I'm like, probably, you can look. Well, he ended up falling asleep on the couch, so I ended up putting it away anyway. But, um, he better not, if he gets, he probably got used to me babying him. And now that he won't need to be on meds three times a day, and, and he doesn't wear, he doesn't have to wear his, um, his, um, the thing on his leg, what, what immobilizer, he can move around pretty well. He still has stitches in and bandages on his, his arm and his leg, but that's it. He can move around just fine. He can't shower yet, which he thinks is just gross. And I'm just like, why don't you just use a washcloth with some soap and water? That'll work too. He's like, oh no. So I had to give him a, I gave him a sponge bath. Uh, a couple nights ago, um, I don't. I'm like, and I'm like rinsing out the stuff, and I'm like, you know, you could have done this in the sink in the bathroom by yourself. Uh, he's like, I don't know. He's useless sometimes. Oh, he said that to me. He said, I feel like the past week I've been useless. I'm like, well, you have been. 
most of it's not your fault. <laughs> Anyways, I'm very brutally honest, and you gotta be with the people that you love and like. You need to be honest. Honesty is the best policy, yada, yada, yada. So, anyways, um, just hammering on right now because, I mean, I'm the only one in the car and there's nobody else to talk to but myself. And, uh, yeah, so, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let you go. I'm on my way to work. I have nothing else to say. I'll talk to you later. Afternoon, I'm done with my overtime. It is 12.28. I got out of, out of, I got out, I left the house early. I got to work and at my desk by seven, signed in at like 7.11. But because it was after a 15 mark, you know, like seven o'clock, 7.15, that kind of thing. Quarter, quarter mark, that's the word. Uh, because it was after a quarter mark, I had to go with the later of the either 7 or 7.15. So, 7.15 it was. 7.15, 12.15, five hours of listening to music or comedy or whatever I wanted to listen to on Pandora. And then also just doing some follow-up and written work and all that kind of jazz. So, it was an easy day. Definitely an easy day. Just got a text message from my brother asking me what kind of sandwich I want. I went with turkey. This turkey has lots of protein. More protein equals more energy. So, I'm gonna have lots of energy for tomorrow when we go to Six Flags, Great America, Kearney, Illinois. It's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna have lots of, this is, uh, Makai is my nephew. He's this is his first time going. Um, he's 11, and it's his first time going. And um, he keeps saying, "Oh, you're making me scared." But I think he's getting scared, confused with exciting or excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Like you don't even know. I'm a Excited I am. Well, you probably know, but I'm super excited. I love roller coasters and I love thrills and I love, I just love, 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 love. I love it. Have I mentioned that I love it? Yeah. Okay, so I gotta calm down. I gotta go to going home. Um, hopefully, Russ is not in like some kind of weird blah mood because even though it's all gray and, and gloomy outside today. I am in a great mood. Yes, yes, yes. It's Friday. I'm going to pick out my outfit for tomorrow. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick out my outfit and probably clean my closet. Okay, bye. Hey, so I got this shirt thinking it was short sleeve, just a regular short sleeve t-shirt. I've cut off the neck. Well, it's long sleeve, and I got purposely got like a really big one, you know. So, um... It's long sleeve, and I, I don't know how to alter long sleeve shirts. So I'm gonna have to look on YouTube and see uh, what I can do with this long sleeve shirt. I know of a couple of things, but I don't wanna make like a strapless dress. I wanna make a shirt. So I think if I just cut off the sleeves, you know, but then I gotta do something with these sleeves. I don't know. Let me YouTube and see. So with a long sleeve shirt, there's not really any way around. Um, I mean, you can make it a t-shirt, obviously. You just cut the sleeve short. There's not really any way around making it anything but a either a dress or whatever. So I still have jeans on, but this I cut the collar part out. You just slip your arms through and you tie the th sleeves in front like so here I'll show you in the mirror looks like that so I mean it's it's cute I think maybe not for someone of my stature we'll say but um that's the wrong word but anyways you know if you're of a different shape 
I uh, I think my boobs are too big, quite honestly, but and other things. But anyways, um, uh, so I went. I meant to buy a t-shirt anyway. I didn't. So I gotta figure something else to wear tomorrow. But right now I gotta put on what I had on before. I gotta head out to the store, grocery store, to buy some uh, some drinks, like water, or soda to bring with us to Six Flags tomorrow. Not a lot, obviously, it doesn't have to be. And then, uh, so I think I'll just buy like maybe a 12 pack of soda or they get the little, the little minis, you know? Anyway, I'll go to the store, get some soda, water, chips. That's what he wants. So I will do that. See you in a bit. Hey, TJ, you go girl. Hey, go girl. You got hugs. You go hug your kisses. Kisses. You go girl. What you want? What? What you want? Okay. Okay, I'm back. Um, uh, I just had to run downstairs and redress Russ's knee as, as he was sitting on the toilet and noticed that it had slipped down and his stitches were showing. So I did that. He was shivering. Like, he says he's a little cold. I'm always the one that's cold. He should not be cold. It's not cold in this house. So anyways, I took his temperature. He's got a slightly elevated temperature. It's 100.6 or whatever. And so we just have to monitor that. If he's allergic to this medicine, then I don't know what we're going to do. There has to be an alternative. Because he has allergic reaction to the vancomycin. If he has an allergic reaction to this other one, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll just monitor it. Hopefully it doesn't get worse because I really want to go to Six Flags tomorrow. <sighs> Anyways, I am just chilling upstairs after 8. I want to go to sleep because I want to be well rested for tomorrow. So, um... That's the end of this video. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.